kind of cool. You don't know that you've decided to stick around Pine Valley. Okay, okay we can just say it. What? Whatever you have set up with. This is kind of cool. Whatever you have. Uh, <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> you do sometimes. Is it that obvious? Just spill. You'll see right, what okay, say. Fine, 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 fine. I got a new uh, tutor lined up. I think I got a new tutor lined up to help you study for your GED instead of Colby. Well, nothing against Colby, but now that you two are, you know, kind of getting kind of serious, I thought it might be. We spend all our time studying each other. The thought never crossed my mind. So, what do you think? Good idea or bad idea? Yeah, it's not so good. I, I'm sure that in your book, GED doesn't stand for glamorous every day, but it is important. Every day. Glamorous every day? How long? You know what I'm talking about? Don't. Look, look, the thing is, with everything that's gone down lately, my mind hasn't been on books or school or getting a high school diploma. <laughs> I'm sure. A lot has happened. But uh, the good news is now that you are sticking around and, you know, things have started to calm down, you're back on your meds, I figured it's more time. Get back in there. You did start back on your meds, didn't you? I was going to tell you later, but I guess you might as well hear it now, okay? I, I think I'm going to take a break from the meds. Yeah, I got it. Well, you didn't call me back? I mean, JR found Palmer's original specs for the nanotech project, Scott. I mean, that, that solid proof that you stole it. So that's why you were with him? Yeah, JR called me. And you went running. What? What is this? I... We had an agreement, Annie. No more lies. No, I... I, I, I know I wasn't completely honest, but what I told you was not a lie. I, I went to go take care of something for us, for our future. Well, why didn't you just tell me all that when he called? I mean, I was right there when you hung up. Well, JR said that he had something on you, something that could blow you out of the company, so I didn't want to get you all worked up. That would have made things worse, so I... I honestly went there alone to protect you. So did you and JR work everything out? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm not in jail, Annie. You know, the cops are not banging down the door, so I don't know. You you must have gotten to it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, how? Hmm? What did you do exactly to convince JR to back off? Okay, now we can talk. Oh, come on, you gotta tell me what happened. What did JR do this time? You're right. I should have listened. Well, I don't care about being right. You know, JR was here earlier. He said that you didn't show up at the cottage, but he didn't know why. Yeah, well, I showed up at the cottage. And guess who was there with him? No. Annie. I called her like the second that I said I wasn't coming. Oh, baby, I am so sorry. Oh, you're just seeing them through the window. Annie with her hands on his face, and Jared just couldn't take his eyes off of her. Oh, God, he's a son of a bitch. I tell you, I've always given him the benefit of the doubt, but I will never again. Were he and Annie... Uh, never mind, it's, it's not important. What, did I catch them in bed? No. I mean, I didn't have to. It was the way that they were looking at each other. You know, like they were the last two people left in the world. God, I almost felt like I was an intruder. It was so strong. And then I just took off. You know what? You're here now, and everything is going to be fine. No, it isn't. That's not everything that happened. Oh, there's more? I, I, God, I, I didn't know where to go. So I went home to pack and Scott was there. And you told him. Well, you, you both deserve so much more. That's no excuse for what we did. What did you... I slept with Scott. 
you, you and Scott. It's not like I planned it. I mean, 